But Christ that liveth in me, it's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. And then it goes, he lives, he lives. Jesus lives in me, amen. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. Dear sister, I know you know that song, hallelujah. But I know he's working on the inside, hallelujah. And he's helping me, and he's strengthening me. And he's saying everything is going to be all right. You see, God is a God of love. And when we hear his word this morning, faith comes alive. Faith comes alive. That substance that's inside of you, that reality in you, this, the gift of faith, it comes alive. Amen. Every time we hear the word. And so that's why today I want you to look that trouble in the eye and say, I don't, everything's going to be okay. Amen. Amen. You look that trouble in the eye and say, you know what? God is on the throne, and he has the last say in my life. Hallelujah. And you continue to speak uh, the word of God over your life, over your circumstances, and declare what Jesus says about it. Amen. If we could understand the power of our words, because the Bible says we'll eat the fruit of our words. And so we need to speak those words of faith and begin to thank God that his ways will be accomplished and that God will see to it that we remain solid. King David, after all he'd been through, he always remained hopeful. And I want to encourage us to remain that way because no matter what, God will always bring you out better than the way you were before you went into any trial or any situation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, this morning, let's just bow our heads. Father, I thank you for your love. Lord, this is a great hour that we're in. And uh, I believe this morning, God, that we're just here to just say we love you, God. And we just want to thank you for your presence here this morning and your love and your grace. Because if it had not been for the grace of God, none of us could be here this morning. But that, Lord, you made a way for each and every one to come. And I thank you today, Lord, that we take this whole place and it's a, it's a sanctuary for you, your presence to come. And we take uh, right now this moment to declare that this is holy ground, hallelujah, that Jesus is here today to minister and to heal. And I thank you, Lord, for every person that sits in these chairs right now. And Lord, you're ministering to them. You're, you're touching them. You're ministering to their heart, Lord. You're healing areas of their life where they need healing. And Lord, I thank you for your gifts today being released, that somebody would receive a miracle. Hallelujah. That somebody would be able to know the faithfulness of God. Amen. In their life in a way they've never known. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And you know, this morning, if you've never met Jesus, if you've never made him the Lord of your life, today is your day to make it right with Jesus. And it's, uh, there isn't a, really a formula. It's just simply telling God from your heart, God, I'm sorry for my sin. But you acknowledge what Jesus did on the cross. You say, thank you, Lord Jesus, that you died for me, and I receive my cleansing today. I receive forgiveness today. I receive healing today because of what Jesus did for me. That's all you have to do is just respond to the Holy Spirit. He's speaking to your heart. He's tugging at your heart. And he's saying, will you come today? Will you lay down your heavy burden? Will you lay down all the things that have been troubling you? And will you take my yoke that is easy and my burden that is light? And that's the kind of prayer you pray. You pray from your heart. And it's not often, it's really the heart, that, and the prayer of a heart. A heart that's full of gratitude and gratefulness. That's the heart that God is really looking at. And I thank you, God, this morning that you hear each one's heart. And the silent prayers are heard. Father God, and I know this morning that there is a touch for someone that needs a healing in their body. And uh, Lord, I believe today that that is coming now in Jesus' name. Even as we release our faith from right where we are. Lord, you're touching right now that person that needs healing. You're touching that person that needs a deliverance from a situation right now in their life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you this morning. And in this time, you know, I know that God is going to minister to people. And that's why we're here, is to minister healing. Hallelujah. 